Hello Queens and welcome back to my channel. It is Queen of Queen She Me and today is going to be a different video and I mean when I say very different I mean I just want to sit down today and I just really want to talk to you guys because I don't think you guys have been loving your own hair and probably have been struggling in your own natural hair journey. And I say that because with natural hair, I feel I feel that my natural hair is me. I feel like my natural hair is a part of me. So to me, it's just more than just the volume, the products, the definition, yada, yada, yada. To me, my natural hair is a statement of me. It is symbolic of me. And I love my hair so much to the point to where like, I even think about the foods that I eat, the way that I carry myself, the way that I display myself. It's just taking pride in who I am and loving me. And you guys just don't know, like, this is really a journey for me. It's just more than just natural hair. Because when I decided to go on this journey, I was not in a very good place in my life. <laughs> and... <laughs> It was just really like a dark time for me and you go through things you go through things in life and you have to learn how to cope with them you have to learn that they do not have to become a part of you that you do not have to be something that you do not want to be and I'm not saying that it's like trying to be very defensive or come off abrasive to anybody it's just that everyone's journey in life is different and sometimes the way that we choose to cope with certain situations is not always the best situation and so in that time of my life I was really stressed out I was depressed and I really didn't realize it at the time but now I do. <laughs> I've gotten a lot better with it. And you guys, I don't want you to think like, well, what is going on? Like this video for me, it needed to be done. It needed to be done because, you know, it's easy to walk around, you know, and act like you're happy, you know, you're this and that. But, you know, I'm human too. We come on here, we put ourselves out there for you guys. And it is just so much more than just trying to come on here and just show you something. We are really here trying to share, like, a part of our lives with you guys and get to know you and, you know, and just try to grow together as a community. <laughs> Sorry, I wasn't expecting to come on here and start crying. But yeah, so going back to what I was saying, sometimes we go through things in life and you know we cope and deal with certain situations. Everyone's different, we handle them differently. But during that time in my life, I was just like, you know, just trying to get on my feet. You know, people who I thought were my friends weren't my friends. You know, you start growing, you know, you just start developing more as who you are, who I am. Because growing up, you just hear so much of what people think this is what you're supposed to be doing. This is what we want you to do, you know, and then when you finally grow up, become an adult, and then you can actually think for yourself, then you start realizing this is not what I want to be. I want to change and I want to grow as a person. So during that time, I really wasn't liking who I am, my body image, like even with my hair, like I wasn't really doing anything with it. I was just pulling it up into like this little top knot bun and don't get me wrong when i was a relaxed girl i love 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 being a relaxed girl like my hair was long you know and i kept it i really kept it up but during that time in my life like i stopped taking care of me i stopped taking care of myself because you just get so consumed with taking care of everyone else you know and just trying to make sure that you're taken care of your loved ones you try to be there for your friends or whoever you know are dealing with at that particular time in your life you know, it just seems like growing up, you go through certain situations, you know, and you can't control that. But to just learn to just grow and to release from it, that is like the amazing part from it. So with my natural hair journey, that is why I just started it. I just so happened to just stumble across it, you know, and it was just at that time, it wasn't just like just the products and everything like that. It was just simply just coming on 
connecting with someone and them actually just showing you how to actually care for your own hair not trying to do all this crazy stuff to it and then trying to keep it up you know if you can do that that's fine but for the most part my natural hair actually just took me on a journey to myself actually and it, i hadn't initially planned it to be that way so if you guys look back on like old pictures and stuff like that you'll see when i was really small really big and anytime like when i get like really slim like that like i really be stressed out i'm like really 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 probably just like overwhelmed and then just probably just internalizing it and hence why my body you know shows that it actually shrinks down because i'm just like stressed out i may not be eating right or getting enough sleep or just whatever the case may be but you guys have to learn to love yourself that's what i'm trying to say you have to learn to love yourself because if you don't love yourself if you don't love the different stages that your hair will go through and believe me my hair is still going through constant changes hence why i don't do a lot of hairstyles because my hair texture is like changing right now as you guys can see like it's pretty big this is a wash and go and my hair right now looks like a 4c so like my hair is changing and lately i have not been liking my hair i have not been liking my hair that's why i've been doing them in wash and goes because it's just easy quick simple i don't have to be bothered with it like i just go through lay the products on and then just go on about my day but in the long haul you can start damaging your hair too so that's why i'm coming on here saying you guys have to love yourself once you start learning to love yourself and to start and to start embracing the actual changes with your hair and even within yourself in your own life like things will start to change and get better you know and you have to just embrace what is naturally naturally you that's the whole point of you going on this natural hair journey is because you wanted your own natural hair well here it is in the flesh this is what your natural hair is going to be like if you continue on this journey and it has the possibility to actually change you just really have to love yourself you guys you just really do like people do not understand that i come across so many people or i can just pick up the energy on them where they just have so much just like hate on them or they're just feeling some kind of way or you can just see it displayed on them and you can just see that they're just not happy because internally they're dealing with something that they're not ready to confront head on and until you decide to just confront head on that's the only way you're going to push through and go past and then just continue to grow because a lot of times we hold our own selves back hence saying holding your own natural hair journey back like if you don't take care of it if you don't keep a regimen if you just don't show it that love you think it's going to just grow magically no like a hair journey is definitely like to me a full embodiment journey because it's just so much more than just you just trying to grow your hair like you shouldn't to me I don't feel like when it comes to your natural hair journey that you should have to necessarily obsess over it you should just let it naturally happen like if your hair is going to grow at a certain rate it's going to grow at a certain rate love it is going to grow but you have to be patient you can't just get to a place where you just just get frustrated and you just say i just want to throw in the towel what if you would have just hung on like two more weeks or maybe another month or so you never know your hair might have flourished for the better you might have found another technique you might have tried another product that may have actually worked or you just might have just changed something in your regimen altogether either way if you just hold yourself back and just be like i'm not doing it i don't want to be bothered with it then you're just pretty much cutting yourself short and then it won't be anybody's fault but your own it's just really just learning to love yourself it just goes back to that you just have to love yourself if you don't give yourself self love even if that's going out for a nice walk during the week or reading a book or listening to some music that you like if you want to change it up and listen to some classical music or something like that do it i'm telling you like lately i have been doing more of what makes me happy and stuff that i have been wanting to actually entertain and the idea of actually attaining that like 
that is a journey within itself six years ago I would have never imagined I would be sitting here in front of a camera, teary-eyed, with mascara running, talking to people and expressing to them how I really and truly feel as a person. It's not that I even have to seem like I'm hiding behind the camera. If I was to see anyone on the street, I would literally speak to you. Even if I can't remember your name, I would acknowledge you. I would say, hey, how are you doing? <laughs> That's just me. Like... It's not so hard to display that love and affection towards another human being in the world. That's why a lot of people are walking around here now hating themselves. If we don't express love and display it from ourselves, no one else is going to be wanting to feel that same vibe. They're going to walk around wanting to be all upset and intense in a very just just not in a good place and i just feel that we all have the choice to love ourselves and within that love changes a lot of things it can change your relationship a life a person whatever something that you want to come forth into your life like you have to change your mindset you have to think of yourself and not in a selfish state either you have to think of yourself in love like if you want someone to treat you a certain way you have to treat them the exact same way. I mean, it's a give and take thing. So with loving your natural hair, you have to love yourself. And, you know, I understand, you know, oh, well, it may seem easy for you because your hair is long and yada, yada, yada. But I transitioned for six months and then I big chop. And then I now just hit my two year anniversary. So technically, I've been on this journey for almost three years. It has not been easy to get my hair like this. It has been a journey within itself. So... I'm just here really just wanting to tell you guys to just remain encouraged. I do not want you guys to just become dis displaced off of your journey all because you're having a small hiccup. If I can do it, then you guys can do it too. Like that's why I'm here. Like that's why I always tell you guys comment, send me a DM, something. Even if you may have a question about a product, I may not have necessarily used it, but I may have seen someone use it and I can refer you that way. You guys, <laughs> I'm sorry. I was not planning on coming on here crying at all. But for the most part, you just have to love yourself. <laughs> you just really have to love yourself. You have to love yourself. You have to get love to get love. You know, and if you want things to flourish, they need love too. Like, I have plants. I have a bamboo plant right now that is actually sick, and I'm tending to it. Like, yes, this is not the first time this has happened, but it needs love. It needs that extra attention because, obviously, I haven't been showing it the necessary, necessary love. So, love yourself. Love where you are in your journey. You know, take a step back see what it is that you may be doing or see maybe what it is that you may need to incorporate into your regimen don't just necessarily just cut yourself short i want you guys to remain strong i know a lot of you have been on this journey with me since the beginning and that's been almost two years ago so you guys have seen me grow you guys have seen me change <laughs> i know a lot of you are like you don't cuss like you used to in your videos it's not necessary I can still get my point across very clearly without having to use profanity. Sometimes I still use it. It's a very expressive way for me to just get my point across, but that's not always the way people will necessarily receive it. So you have to sometimes dial back, check yourself, and then a lot of times it will help you in the long haul. So just stay encouraged, stay in love. I want you guys to stay on your natural hair journey. You know, it's not always going to be easy. It's no different than everyday life. You know, we have struggles, you know, situations that come up. But what are we going to do? Are we just going to lay down and just <laughs> let them roll over us? Or are we going to just try to continue to just push through? And nine times out of ten, you continue to push through. Push through. <laughs> I just want to thank you guys so much for all of your continual love and support. Because I tell you guys, a lot of days, <laughs> the messages you guys send me, they really do touch me. I'll be at work a lot of days and you guys will be like, oh, you're so beautiful. Your hair is just flourishing, you know, or I liked your video. And you guys just don't know, like, to do all this for you guys and to share with you guys. It really is rewarding for me because I really do feel like I'm helping someone out there, you know. And if I ever come across you or if you ever see me, don't ever feel like <laughs> I would not walk up to you and hug you. Like, you know, I'm not that type of person. I'm all about love. I try to give it back. You know, hopefully I can receive it back. You know, but just remain in love. 
stay encouraged on your natural hair journey i do not want you guys to just stop i don't want you to revert back to that creamy crack no <laughs> we want to stay with the good crack we want to stay with the dc no we don't want to do the other stuff share this video with someone who may be needing encouragement right now in their natural hair journey tell me why you guys started your natural hair journey that's pretty much what this video may be titled i'm just probably going to title it why did you start your natural hair journey because i never really explained explain why i actually started my natural hair journey so it was a life-changing effect for me i'm forever grateful for coming across the natural hair community it is so much more than just hair and products it really is growing with other young women as well across the world the globe just everywhere and i just want to thank every one of you for just taking your time out to spend it here with me so until next time queens be blessed and i'll see you guys in my next video bye